Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Avatar 2023 review, and this one's on Pyakon the Tolkien and Crap Suit. <coughs> so on the front of the box here we have the LEGO Avatar logos and picture of the set in Going in the Ocean, and also that neat border as we had for this whole wave, and also the minifig select or the three minifigs included and age recommended ages 10 and up set number 75579 has 761 pieces and on the back of which do you have it in deep display of it going on and all the features of it lego.com and there Onto the instruction manual, which different picture on the front part of it, and also half of the like piece parts list, to which which other half in the back. If anyone knows why this, why I kind of did that, comment below, or maybe it's a new thing they're going for, but whatever. And also add for the Lego Builder app. And then on the back, how to win on the online survey. And how they're going over to uh, paper bags, of course, and the rest of the pieces included. And then out of all of this wave of sets, and last false wave of sets, which, which I do have all on a playlist on my channel, so definitely check that out. And then the last building steps. Now on to the main things included. So first up we have the only human me think of which the crap suit driver of which so the torso printing like printing kind of similar to what we had with Colonel Courtridge in the first wave of sets with the amp suit Thanatar set of course but although face printing kind of like we kind of see in some licensed sets a lot and of course wearing the classic beanie cap piece there and also who's probably exclusive to this is Loak and however his hair piece of which Quite similar to what we had with Jake and whatnot for that. But aside from that, torso printing, quite good. Face printing, well done. And the leg printing, also quite great for that. And also we get to say, like we saw, in, which also came in the ILU Discovery set. Well, all the prints of which, quite the same. But I think the uh, leg printing might be different. I forget, but yeah. But aside from that, face printing, uh, really good for how how she is, and also the backside, which do you get and both their tail pieces in both the blue colorings, and however, and also not only back face printings for all of these, all of them, and also good back torso printing for all of them as well. Like, yeah. As for this minifig selection as a whole, nice to see some good uh, selections here, but I think one of the other one of those other uh, Water Clan Noppies that uh, pick on the kids there. I think they also could have been included in this set. Or maybe that would have been a little much. But aside from that, still good selection for as is. But yeah. And as for one a build of the side builds, of which, which is another like bit of coral reef that we can get in all these sets. Of which it still has the like corner plates in dark blue as all of these do. And like most of the sets, these dark uh, pink uh, leaf pieces as coral a bit. And also you get one of those large horn pieces in gold. Great to use for mocking. And one side which mostly just a couple of jagged slopes representing rock parts of it. 
and also, as you see, the Technic bits of which to hold one of the main fields in this set. But however, I think it, it could have done a little better of concealing it, of course. Because on one side, it looks a little bit more complete. Then. And also, do you get one of those like flower stem pieces in purple? Great to see here. But yeah. As is quite fine for how it is, but yeah. And then onto this larger side build, of which where it's just a couple of dark tan and dark blue plates, corner plates there. And also the larger leaf pieces, of course. And also do get a lot of the flower pieces in green, lime green, and orangish yellow. And the center of which just brick stacked on bricks with uh, jagged slopes and a curved slope above. And also do get, but also, like the other one, do get the Technic bits really exposed. I think could have done better of concealing them, like making these in uh, dark gray for that. And also another one of the uh, flower stem pieces, but yeah. But also do get one of those like common vine pieces but in uh, dark green acting as kelp slash seaweed but as is still quite good for as uh, is but yeah and now to one of the main builds of which is the crap suit OG. Quite interesting, cool build to it. Quite a bit different than most mechs that we oftentimes get. But although, from first glance, does look kind of like something we got in the uh, Hero Factory Invasion from Below line that there is, but at least it's made of system rather than CCBS kind of pieces to it. But yeah. Like this front section, which same exact canopy cockpit piece as, as in those sets, of course. But, and of course, can flip open, and there are which a lever and also a, a what's it called, cheese slope in a translucent light blue, of course. And enough space room to fit your uh, driver mini fig into, of course. And closes over him really good for that. But as you see, it's not so watertight on here because he would probably suffocate and drown easily. I mean, well, if this were for real, of course. And as for these arm bits, which are consisting of few uh, pieces to it, and also battle droid arms and double clip pieces on there, of course. Whereas the other one of which a clip piece on it with one of those, like double hinge pieces, of course. And also on the sides of which you have the newer style stud shooters, which you can press and fire off like so. But as for this top section, as you can see, comprised of mostly plates and a couple of, of a 2 by 3 bricks on there, and also a little uh, uh, rod, or I mean lightsaber rod, uh, in the center. Since of course, the large watercraft that they're on, uh, which kind of has winches that hold on to it and drops them down in the ocean, of course. And then to the back side, of which do have just like we had with the Mako subset, one of those newer style uh, propeller pieces, of course. And also the turbine holder piece in sand green. Nice to see there. And as for the leg parts of which, which on two kind of pits, and do have a couple of pivoting uh, joints like in the center section, and also a little mixel ball joint on the lower section. And also does have, and also a couple of slope pieces being the pointy tips of it. But yeah. and, uh, hang on a sec.
and also one of the main features is you can like uh, fold these in like so which kind of takes a little work to that so like that and also these upper arm bits you can fold it right inwards uh, let's see or it can do so like so, like that, and you got it in its like hovering uh, sub mode, you can say. And with the smaller one of these builds, which with that plus rod hole in there, you can like attach it onto that red bit there, and you got it in displayed like so. Although for this yellowish bits do, which kind of stick out a bit, I guess probably to hold your extra studs on there or whatever else you want, but yeah. And that is about it with the craft suit. And now to the actual main build, of which, or the other main build, Pyakon the Tolkien, it's himself. Well, quite neat for how it is. And of course, quite large for how it is, since, of course, the Tolkens are like the whales of Pandora, but at least the, how it's built, to, how he's built to, which done quite well, well of course. So, although, for my reviews, I do start like head to back part, but uh, I think I. This one I'm going to start like back to the front, which for the uh, back tail fin, which is comprised of mostly like a few Nexo Knights shield pieces in dark blue, nice to see there. And they do fold in and outwards, and why quite small? I don't know. Even though with most whales they're quite large for that, but you know, it's on Pandora, it's a little different then. And also that large uh, plate with ridge kind of piece there like we saw on uh, on some Iron Man sets of course and the rest of the tail section has like large jagged slope piece and curved slope piece and also the same with on the top part of which which nice to see those pieces going on there which we barely see much going on into this upper section which has a plenty of turquoise kind of exposed a bit. I think those should have been in dark blue to blend in with the color scheme more. Uh, but although there's a little bit of a little section in there for you to in that for the like ratcheted bit to make it go up and down. And as for the fin large fins here which are comprised of mainly just a whole bunch of plate plates going off, or curved plates then, and also another uh, turquoise piece exposed again, of course. And they which are on ratcheted hinges for me to turn up and down, of course. And also what, also have one of those, like, special clip-on kind of pieces there. Mostly just to have one of your mini pigs hold on to of course and of course and you can display it like how they are with swimming alongside it like they are in the movie of course and also underneath them are these little tentacle like bits to it comprised of mostly classic dinosaur tail pieces there ending off with lightsaber hilts and leading to those like classic spike pieces in dark blue nice to see good to use for mocking of course and as for the upper fins which one of which has in like uh, corner slope pieces there and also a little bar kind of piece also to hold on to and the other which just a pair of small slopes for that 
since of course since in the movie the kind of shows how he got one of his fins caught off of course and as for this top section which a couple more of those pieces on there also for a mini thing to hold on to of course so oh, hang on and as for the like amounts not used in this upper area really good like a lot of curveness going for it going on for him and again like so and as for this upper head kind of area which looking which I think is sculpted to pretty much perfection although and of course has a lot of good printing on both these horn bits and also for the sides and also the eye bits and also for the four eyes half of them and also for this lower jaw section of course and now how this goes like is that for you get these two halves open them sideways and then this lower jaw section lowers down of course and you can get a good peek inside and you can see a lot of hollowness in there and, and you can kind of see the orange technic bit in there and although what I think is missing is what I think could have included is on this top section include like a uh, like orange uh, stud or yellow stud or gem piece since in the and redo that if you're reading that scene in the movie when they're uh, drilling some stuff fluids from the top bit since it's a valuable bit to it, of course and how I close this up is just take the lower jaw wrap it up and take these two and close them up like so and of course quite hollow space for that but it's still workable and also for the bottom section uh, which quite all right for how it is like all pure white thin, except for the yellow bits here but at least they're barely ever but you barely but at least they're barely ever shown from the top view and also this uh, like gray plate there or with a couple holes in them and a technic hole in there which to correspond with the base piece from earlier And of course, you can slide it on like so. And got a neat display of it going on. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a, a quite good set or great set for how it is. Like it both one of the key animals of the movie, which is the Payak on the Tolkien, and all of the building or the build of him, which pretty much great, well captures his appearance, its appearance. And although as for the seven hundred pieces for the hundred dollars of this, kind of steep, but and of course mainly because of the like. A, a head pieces for that but at least still quite fair as is it's like we had with like smog in the lonely mountain set in the hobbit line of course but also as is for for the hundred dollars it is still kind of worth it even though working out almost as well as the uh, as the uh, site 26 floating mountain set that we had in the first wave of course like it both like it a vehicle and something else with that of course and the headpiece is kind of a bit like the dire horse in that one of course but aside from that but also both of which also as good parts packs of like a uh, dark blue and sand green and white and also for the side builds as well of course and maybe the big selection i think we could have at least gotten an extra one of it but as is still quite fair, but yeah. 
and also the crap zoo which does have plenty of good stuff going for it as of course like possibility and also get plenty of shooting action with the stud shooters but yeah and so if you're looking to get this set for your avatar display and collection definitely pick this up and if you're looking to complete the uh, wave of water first wave of sets well also definitely pick this up and that's about it with this video or if you have have enough money to get this set also worth picking up and that's it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching